everybody. Just want to say hey and uh, hope you're doing well. Um, I want to begin a series of devotions, um, and I'm really nervous about this because it potentially will be very controversial. Um, but I feel a just a heavy weight right now as a pastor of a church and as a leader. Um, I've had several people reach out to me. I've had several conversations with people regarding uh, the events of the past week, uh, the stuff that went on in the White House, and here's what concerns me. There's always been disagreements. There's always been divisions. There's always been differing views and political differences, but it has reached such a level, um, not just in our country, but more, more concerning to me in our churches. I was at a retreat with some pastors last week and uh, over a dozen pastors, all from different churches in the Santa Cruz County area. And we are all dealing with the same thing. We have people that we are trying to lead and to shepherd who greatly disagree. Uh, there are people that are on the far right and people that are on the far left. And we have been told for a long, long time, never talk about politics and never talk about religion. And I think as pastors, we have failed um, and done poorly. You know, I often said that pastors often do a very bad job at talking about two things, money they tend to talk too much about it, and sex, they don't talk enough about it. But I'm adding to that a third thing, politics. We have essentially said uh, that talking about politics is off limits. And so what we have now is an inability to talk in a godly way, in a mature way, in a healthy way, about politics and about things that we might disagree on or think differently about. And really, you know, I'll be honest, I, I have to work hard to care about politics. For me, politics is somewhat of a sport, right or wrong, I'm just, that's, that's where I am. And when my team doesn't win, it's kind of like the Golden State Warriors losing. Okay, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Life goes on. It's not that big of a deal to me. But I noticed a huge change back in 2015. Um, and because of social media, because of the smartphone, um, the rhetoric just skyrocketed. Uh, division started happening in families and People essentially um, forgot how to be kind, forgot how to love one another, and forgot, to, uh, forgot how to have a conversation with someone who might think differently or believe differently. Uh, now, I've been dealing with people who disagree with me uh, most of my life, but especially as a follower of Christ and as a pastor, I've had many, many conversations. Um, mm -hmm with people who disagree me about different issues within the Bible, charismatic issues, uh, sexual issues. Um, I've had conversations with people of other, other faiths and different religions. Um, and so I've had many, many conversations, long conversations, conversations through email and through letters. And, and so this is my attempt over the next couple of weeks to kind of walk with you uh, uh, in, in a way to, to hold on to Christ and yet learn how to navigate the complexities of our current culture and the political environment that is so heated uh, and so divisive. And this is so, so important, you guys, because the church has a great opportunity to say, hey, look, we can disagree and still love one another. We can think differently about certain things and yet still stand together. We don't have to see eye to eye on everything to be able to walk hand in hand, keeping our eyes on Christ 
and serving and loving one another. So I'm going to kind of just give you some of, my, some of my rules when it comes to how I deal with politics. And I'll give you uh, maybe one every time, maybe two, depending on it. But, but here's, here's the thing, guys. A lot of this is stuff I'm just working through. I'm thinking out loud with you. Um, uh, but I really began to think deeply about this several months ago when I posted a picture on my Facebook page uh, on one of my mountain bike rides. It's up, up at the top of UCSC, and it was simply the words, Black Lives Matter. And I posted that, and I made it clear this is not a political statement. And then arguments broke out on my news feed. Um, and it was so ugly and so disconcerting. Um, and so I really began to think, can we, as Christians, can we learn how to have a conversation with one another? Can we listen can we learn from one another? Can we agree to disagree without being disagreeable? Can we have differences and still love one another? And so my number one rule when it comes to politics is people come first. People matter more than politics. And I know that sounds simple. I, I know that sounds... Uh, common sense. <laughs> um, but I wonder, I wonder how many of us are really thinking and putting people first. Paul says in the book of Ephesians, I think it's chapter four, verse three, he says that we are to make every effort, make every effort to keep the bonds of peace. I, I'm sorry, to, to keep uh, unity and to preserve the bonds of peace. Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers. And, and so I'm going to ask you as I'm asking myself, can I be a peacemaker? Paul says somewhere else that we are to strive as far as it's possible with us to be at peace with all people. That's all people, not just the people that we agree with, not just the people that like us, but to be at peace with all people. Can we do that? Can you do that? Can I do that? Can we find a way to make people more important than our politics in 2021? And so that's rule number one, but I, I want to invite you guys as I as I walk through these different rules that I've come up with, uh, again, bear in mind, they're my rules. They're a work in progress. I'm thinking out loud. It's okay to disagree, challenge me, question me. I can change my mind. But if you call yourself a follower of Christ, check yourself. Are you willing to make the effort? Are you willing to make the effort? Because it takes effort. It doesn't come naturally. It doesn't come easy. Are you willing to make the effort to seek unity with your brothers and sisters in Christ? Are you willing to make the effort to pursue, pursue peace as far as it's possible with you? God bless you guys. That's just rule number one. Put people before politics. So may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face.